for the introduction on Elvis, ensure that your Elvis device is switched on before launching this application. So let's launch the Elvis instrument launcher. And these are all the instruments and applications that we can use. By clicking on the top left hand corner of the star icon, we are saving the instruments or applications into the favorites list. And these are the common instruments that we'll be using on the Elvis device. For the first example on Elvis, click on the instrument launcher and select the function generator and oscilloscope. Ensure that the function generator is connected to channel 0 and the sync to channel 1. So let's start off with a simple example by setting the frequency in on the function generator to 100 Hz. Ensure that both the switches on the Elvis board is switched on before you are able to see the waveform. So let's run the function generator and the oscilloscope. So this is what you will be able to see on channel 0 and the blue in channel 1. So do take a screenshot of this waveform and put it in your logbook. Let's move on to the second example on Elvis. So let's select the function generator, oscilloscope and arbitrary waveform generator. You can rearrange all the windows. So as for the arbitrary waveform generator, let's enable channel 0 and select the file name 1 volt sign 1000. Let's change the frequency on the function generator to 1000 Hz and the modulation type to AM. As for the oscilloscope, We'll just run all the windows. Ensure that your function generator is connected to channel 0. And this is what you will see. So just simply adjust the voltage and the time division to have a clearer view of the waveform. So do also take a screenshot and paste it in your logbook. You can also use the cursor to look at the different types, the different signal and frequency at a point. And let's move on by selecting the dynamic signal analyzer. And we will change the frequency span to 2000 and revolution to 800. So let's run, and this is the waveform that you will be seeing. So we'll do write down on the views of what you see, and take this screenshot and put it in your logbook. Hope you have find this introduction to LabVIEW and Elvis useful. You can also download the free LabVIEW student edition on the National Instrument website where you can better understand and learn more about the application on LabVIEW. So that's all for today's video and thank you for watching.